Hi there, I am Tanya Rindiger and I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder. So everything for me evolved around change. I wanted to change so badly. I wanted to change the way I feel about myself. I wanted to change the way my future is going to pan out for me. I wanted to change my habits like the smoking, the obsessive compulsiveness, my eating disorders and things like that, the alcohol. I wanted to change my negative thinking patterns and <laughs> all of that. You know, I wanted to change having nightmares, panic attacks, and change, change, change. I wanted to change everything about me. Okay, I don't know what it is for you that you really, really wanted to change. But number one thing you need to really, really know and believe is that change is possible. Okay, no matter what happened to you, no matter what you've been through, change is possible. Our brain has a tremendous capacity to change. Okay, because I used to be a chef. I used, had the most unhealthy diet you could possibly imagine while I was there. So I had to start telling myself, I am a person who does not eat deep fried food. I'm a person who does not smoke. There's no way we can change if, if we keep telling ourselves, oh, I'm fat, I'm lazy, I'm a smoker, I'm an alcoholic. If we keep telling ourselves those things, there's no way we, we're going to not do that. But by rewiring or building those neuronal pathways so that we automatically think when we smell deep fried food, I'm a person who does not eat deep fried food. Okay, so that they are the kind of easier things <laughs> I for myself. The hard thing is that you know that we've been through so much trauma, horrific stuff. You know, some of us have been through unspeakable crimes, really, and that we can choose to not be miserable and stuck in a deep hole thinking that our life's been ruined. And for me, the turning point was when someone pointed out to me, you know, I said, you spent all day and night thinking about the people who abused you. You know, the people wondered how much time they spent about thinking about you, how you feel. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> and it's pretty clear that probably some of them don't remember me at all. Some barely think about me while my whole life's about them. And they deserve none of my time, okay? So I had to really make that choice and keep telling myself, I am a person who has a brave heart. I am a person who chooses to act from a place of love, regardless of what happened. You know, I don't no longer want to think about that. I know this was horrible. I'm a person who's been through tremendous hardship. I've been a person who's been through a lot of struggle, a lot of trauma, a lot of abuse. But I'm a person who is brave. I'm a person who is determined to change. I'm a person who is determined to work on having a fulfilling, joyous life. Okay. So I hope this helps you. And I hope you can make yourself some statements. It's like, I am a person who... And make them positive. And I hope it, it will help you to, to rewire those brains. Because you deserve a fulfilling life. You deserve joy in your life. You deserve feeling great. And looking forward to tomorrow. Okay, So lots and lots of love and rainbows as always. To help you through those struggles. Bye.